Upstairs in the projection area of Rainbow Cinemas, film reels line the walls, now merely decorations. It's all computer. The films come on a hard drive. We load the hard drives into the servers. We click, 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 and boom, there it is. Having worked in the film industry for 25 years, Rainbow's manager says there are both pros and cons to the recently installed digital projection system. The picture is bright, it's beautiful, the sound is great, uh, there's it's far less labor intensive, um, but it's sad to see film go. You know, it's been such an industry standard for so many years, and, um, you know, it's, it's a little old a little sad not to hear the worrying of the projectors anymore. A little sad and a little expensive. Converting all seven cinemas cost them close to a million dollars. Here at Highland Cinema, managers have had to do the same, making that change from film to digital in order to stay current. But they've kept some of their old film projectors just in case. This is just a reel of trailers? especially since they play films that aren't just new releases. There's a lot of stuff that we can probably only get on film still. Mm -hmm. So it's not like every little production has a digital version of their movie. Even so, it was impossible to resist the quickly changing industry. Some directors prefer to work only in the digital realm. There were too many films we couldn't play anymore, and that was going to get much worse. It's not that I think digital is bad, I just think that it's in its infancy compared to film and it's just so sad to see film just so discarded. The studios push so hard and, and Avatar had to be so damn successful that everyone jumped on the bandwagon right now. That's why this is happening so fast. So fast that Rainbow and Highland are the last two cinemas in London to make the switch from real hardware that fit onto these plates to hard drives that fit into this machine. Not an industry standard just yet, but perhaps not so far off in the future. Lisa Shing, CTV News.